Now, star defender Stavros Katsantonis joins us from the Hamilton Tiger Cats. And Stavros, thank you so much for joining us on a bye week. I'm excited to talk with you. I'm always excited every week when we find out who the player is going to be on our Players Association Spotlight. And it's you. You got a very interesting story. And you're balling here this season for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Uh, so there's so many things to talk about. So let me just ask you, how are things in the life of you, Stavros? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Rod. I really appreciate you having me on the show. But yeah, uh, things have been gro going great so far. Um, you know, just been working hard. Uh, the results have been, been paying off this year and, uh, you know, hoping, hoping to bring a home great cup back to Hamilton uh, this season uh, as we head into the postseason. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I don't tell anybody, but I'm pulling for the Thai Cats to be in the Grey Cup because I know what it'll do for that Hamilton Grey Cup. So uh, pulling for you guys that I know you are doing your part, man, you're balling. And before we get to this year, you have a very interesting road to get to the Canadian Football League from Bakersfield, California. It's Bakersfield, right? Would you mind telling our viewers and audience the story? It's like a hell of a story. Yeah, yeah, I might have to write a book on it one day um, with all the all the, the turns and all that, that that's gotten me where I am today. But yeah, from Bakersfield, California, uh, my dad was born and raised in Edmonton, Alberta, played some junior football there, um, you know, was part of the, uh, I think, uh, Edmonton, uh, then Eskimos, uh, I think, training camp back in like 1983, 84, something like that with Warren Moon. Uh, I think Matt Dunnigan was there, um, but he ended up going down in Juco, uh, down in Bakersfield, Col or Bakersfield College, where he met my mom. Uh, and then he went back to the University of Calgary, played a year or two there. Um, my mom also went with him. He had a, he had a career-ending back injury, but I think uh, my mom wasn't a fan of the 1988 blizzard that was in Calgary that year. So I think that maybe uh, had, maybe had a little something to do with them and ending up starting a family back in Bakersfield. But uh, yeah, I played my high school football in Bakersfield as well. Um, and then ended up going to the University of British Columbia. Um, just through my dad, uh, he had ended up sending my film to uh, the University of Calgary and UBC, just kind of following with, with Canadian college sports, um, as he kind of did throughout my upbringing. Um, you know, I, I did see a few CFL games kind of in my high school time, but never thought uh, that, that that could pan out for me, um, you know, going back to my high school football days. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, uh, really blessed to have, you know, this journey that I've had and, and end up in the CFL and end up in the position that I am. But it's been a long one, but uh, just super proud of my Canadian roots. Yeah, and a fourth-round pick by the Tiger Cats in the Canadian College Draft. And I guess Stav uh, Stavros Katsantonis is with us. And I know the Greek community, I know, I don't even need to know how proud they are of you because I know how they are. Man carrying the flag. And to be honest, Zach Caleros has the name, but he's not as Greek as you. It's a short name, Caleros. And I've talked to Zach about that. Uh, we're good friends. So, be you know, before we talk about between the lines stuff what's it like representing the greek community in the sport of football is that a thing for you oh yeah definitely it's been a, it's been an honor um you know ever since i was a kid you know i got got raised in the you know greek traditions greek dancing maybe that that's an attribute to some of my footwork on the football field um but yeah was was raised greek through and through my parents owned a restaurant uh, that was a greek and american sports bar so uh yeah it was really really uh infused in the culture and uh it's always an honor just to you know have my last name on the jersey that that's seen by you know hundreds of thousands millions of people um you know all over the place you know wherever they're watching and uh you know even speaking of the colorado part that was a cool thing you know just being able to connect up with them sometimes after game and, and share some uh some interesting greek words with each other i won't say them on the on the air but uh he's a good good guy and uh definitely another you know another good greek guy to connect with in the league Oh, man, some just popped into my head. I'm not sure that I can say them either, uh, <clears throat> and I won't. But it's your third season there, but this is a season where you, Stavros, I feel, has, have really taken that jump. Man, uh, am I reading it right? Where you, you're, you're comfortable, you're making plays. T talk about your CFL career, where you've, where you've come from and where you're at. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, from the rookie standpoint in, in 2021, just kind of, you know, earning my stripes, uh, getting a few reps there and there, and then... You know, kind of having some starts in the playoffs, uh, you know, the Grey Cup being one of them. Uh, you know, unfortunately not being able to win that game was definitely a tough one at home, but uh, definitely has fueled the fire, uh, you know, coming into obviously last season, not getting as many plays, but, you know, leading the team in special team tackles, just doing my part, um, you know, in whatever's asked of me. And then, uh, you know, fast forwarding into this season, just, uh, you know, obviously not getting a start right off the go, but uh, not letting that get me down or, or change my preparation in terms of, you know, how I come to work every day. 
Um, and I think it's just been, you know, it's just been a, a whole process. I've had a lot of great veterans around me with guys like Hune Delicay, uh, Mike Daly, um, you know, Brooke uh, for my, my rookie year and last year, Jamal Roll, uh, Siante Evans. So being able to, you know, have guys like that around you, Richard Leonard, um, that, that, you know, have, have been there, kind of done that, has, has helped that transition as well. And then a lot of good coaches with, you know, Hall of Famer, uh, Coach O, um, Coach Steinauer, uh, you know, Coach Washington. Uh, you know, the, those are just two awesome guys that are DBs that, you know, you know, I've been in the room since I first come into the league. Um, Coach uh, Craig Butler um, in, in my first two years and, and just, just a, a huge support system around me, um, you know, from day one. Well, I'll tell you again, I was watching the game Friday night. It's not the first night that you were making plays against BC, but I was literally, what? Who is this guy? <clears throat> and he's clearly Greek. So uh, way to go, man. Yeah, you, everybody's noticing. Everybody's picking up. So keep it going. Enjoy the rest of your bye week. Good luck getting into the Grey Cup. And I got to ask you, I see that microphone over the back corner there. Are you a fledgling podcaster, radio guy, broadcaster? What's the story there? Um, you know, I, I have been in the off season, you know, delving a little bit more into the, I guess, promoting the CFL, you know, on the YouTube standpoint, something that's a little bit of a, a side hobby passion of mine. Uh, haven't been able to really do it during the season just because there's, you know, a lot of commitments there um, and not, not a whole lot of extra time for, for extra things. But it, it will be something that I do, you know, in the off season, maybe something I get into, um, you know, maybe, maybe post for in the, in the media around. But yeah, I do enjoy kind of the podcasting, video creation, content creation for, uh, you know, our great Canadian Football League. Good stuff, Stavros. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you get back to enjoying the bye. And um, I got a lot of friends around that Thai Cats organization, not the least of which is Andy Fantuz. As you know, he's on the radio there. So uh, say hi to him for me. He's a Malacca. Thank you, Stavros. <laughs> there we go. I appreciate you, Ron. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, you too. Stavros, Cats and Tonis. And that's just between us in the Greek community there. Uh, yeah. It's brought to you by Sober Carpenter. I'm down to one left. One Sober Carpenter out of the fridge. And uh, I think I'm going to crack it right now. Our CFL coverage is brought to you in part by Sober Carpenter. Non-alcoholic craft beers. And uh, check them out at SoberCarpenter.com. Find a vendor near you.